This video was brought to you by Scrap.tf, the largest trading site within Team Fortress 2. Here, you can buy and sell thousands of TF2 items along with Steam trading cards, Steam games and more. There are hundreds of community raffles, community auctions that take place on the site, so make sure you check it out down below. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got a Q&A. Um, I haven't actually done like a questions and answer type video in a good few months. Um, and obviously with sort of like a lack of everything going on with Team Fortress 2 at the moment, I figured like this would be a good chance to maybe answer some questions that you guys had. And uh, yeah, so I mean, without further ado, I put out this tweet on Twitter essentially asking you guys to send me in questions for a Q&A style video. And there was, well, a lot of questions sent. So thank you to everyone who sent in a question. I've got a ton of stuff to talk about, both TF2 related and non-TF2 related. And it should be pretty fun. So uh, yeah, I mean, without further ado, let's get into it. So the first question is from Lorenzo and it says, how long do you think TF2 can go without Valve support? Do you think the community in brackets creators.tf can keep TF2 alive? And this is a pretty good question. It's something I actually think about quite a bit because with the way Valve are treating Team Fortress 2 at the moment, if we're realistically speaking, we can only really expect a decline in players. Like, even though the community is great and stuff, in 10 years' time, if there's nothing new related to Team Fortress, you can't expect the same amount of players to, to like, maintain. You can only expect that number to gradually start to decline, right? So, I feel like the creators.tf stuff, while it's great, not everyone that plays TF2 knows about, you know? For example, there's people that casually play TF2, they don't watch TF2 videos, they don't, like, uh, watch TF2 streams, they don't really keep up with community posts and stuff like that, so they don't know that creators.tf is even a thing. So, whilst creators.tf is great for keeping uh, dedicated TF2 fans engaged, it doesn't have the factor that is really important of being able to draw in new players to the game, which I feel like is massive for keeping the game alive. So, what I think Valve should do with TF2 at the moment is give it to creators.tf, if that makes sense. Like, make the creators.tf updates actual updates, give the reins to Team Fortress 2 and full control of Team Fortress 2 to the guys over at creators.tf and just say, you know, you guys are doing a good job, a better job than us keep these updates happening and we'll implement it into the main game and not only then would it be official updates as opposed to community ones like you could play them and everyone would have them as opposed to just being on creators servers so i don't know i feel like there's a lot of potential with creators.tf but like valve are still ultimately in control of the future of team fortress 2 so i don't know how long it'll last but i feel like a way they can make it last longer is by giving it to creators tf the next question is from Elliot, and he said, Your dream TF2 loadout, in brackets, cost doesn't matter, just the class, cosmetics, and weapons. Very interesting question, right? I'd, I'd pick Scout, because obviously, I'm a Scout main. Pyro Joe, the Scout main. So, I, I think it would definitely have to include an unusual bonk boy. Probably with something like Burning Flames, or Purple Energy, or Green Energy. Just because... Or, or I could go for like an all-class misc, like the viewfinder, but that's a bit too greedy. So let's just say a scout loadout, it will have an unusual bonk boy and an unusual tossle cap, I think. A troublemaker's tossle cap is a nice mid to high tier scout hat in unusual form and it looks pretty good with the bonk boy. Um, and that would have the opposite effect. So let's say, for example, I get burning flames, the tossle cap would have scorching flames. Or let's say I had scorching flames, the tossle cap would have burning flames. Um, you get what I mean. So that's what I'd go for. And then the third cosmetic could probably be something like a strange bruiser's bandana. Just because I, I use that, that's always been like my go-to face cosmetic. I think it's great. So that would be my dream scout loadout, I think. Yeah. Ripper said, who was your main inspiration for starting YouTube slash what motivates you to put out regular videos at such high quality? It's a good question. I don't know what my main inspiration was for starting YouTube because I did it so long ago. Like, I... Before TF2, I was doing FIFA. Before FIFA, I was doing, like, Call of Duty edits. Like... I've I've done so much on YouTube that like if I if I had an inspiration it'd change a lot. But like in terms of just making regular content and stuff for me, I've always watched people like FaZe Rain, the Side Men, um, like people who put out consistent content every day made me want to like aspire to that and be able to do the same because I used to come home from school every day or come home from college every day and just watch YouTube. It's the first thing I do, check my sub feed for the YouTubers I watch every day, see when they upload, like they, they'd upload at the same time every day so I'd have it like in my schedule to watch their video. So I always wanted to do something like that to where people could just come home after a long day, maybe stressed, maybe like 
you know, got given loads of work, maybe got given some bad news, and they can just expect to have, like, a Pyro Joe video in their recommended. Whether I'm at that level yet or not, I don't, I don't think I am. But, like, it's something I'm going to work towards, and definitely because, I'm, I mean, I'm moving out next week. So, like, that's going to give me an opportunity even more so to just create content at any time around the clock, you know? And that's something I want to talk about, actually, because I'm moving out next week. I always get comments saying, like, Oh, does Pyro Joe live in a closet because my clothes rails here? And when I move out... I'm going to take a picture of this room so you guys can see my setup. Like, I share a room with my twin brother. So, my whole room is just, like, I have a tiny, like, corner of the room. And he has, like, the rest of the room. So, my setup is, like, I've got all my clothes there because the wardrobe's filled with his stuff. And, like, just loads. Like, I've, I've not got any real setup, apparent, or, or so to speak. So, yeah, new setup coming soon. It's going to be mad. Pyro Joe house tour, etc, etc. It's going to be crazy. A list said, what is your favourite game mode? And for me, that's an easy one. That's probably the easiest question I've had so far. It's King of the Hill. I just think King of the Hill is such a, like... It's just such a nice game mode. You don't have to have, like, a full team of dedicated players with sick communication to play it. It's literally, like, you know, you can just mess around. You can play it how you want. You can play objective and get on the point. Or you can rely on your team to do that and, like, go around their spawn, try and kill them. Like, there's just so much you could do on King of the Hill. And plus, you've got maps like Cop King, Harvest, and, that like, uh, Sui Jin. There's just so many nice Koth maps that it has to be a favourite for me. Game Pan said, what is your favourite Lil Peep song? And it changes... Like, I've listened to Peep for years and years. Like, I'd say at the moment, it's probably Hair Dye or Red Drop Shorty. Those are always, like, my two go-tos, uh, if I had to recommend. So, uh, yeah, those would be my favourite ones at the moment. Medi Excalibur said, How have you been getting on in Pokemon Sword slash Shield? I remember you getting the game a while back, and you haven't seen, haven't seen you post anything about it, so I'm a bit curious on, like, your status at the moment in game, and your team at the moment you're using. I completed Pokemon Sword. I completed it. I did all the bonus stuff as well, but then I didn't play it when the DLC and stuff started to come out. In terms of my team, I'll put a picture on the screen now, because I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. But, like, that was the team I played through the game with. It's really fun. I really enjoy Pokemon Sword. Um, I, I love just the concept of the, the wild area, I think it was called, where you could just go there and, like, see really rare Pokemon knocking about that you can catch. Like, I thought that was great. Just overall, really good game. Um, and I'm playing through Red Rescue Team at the moment, the remaster. Connie said, what's your favourite eSport to watch? I don't really watch eSports. Like, the only game that I used to watch eSports a lot of was Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike Global Offensive, CSGO. Um, I used to be really invested in the esports of that, like follow all the teams, know all the rosters and stuff. And over the past couple of years, I sort of like stopped watching it. But if I was to like, you know, answer that question, it would be CS just because I don't watch any others. Widowed Envelope says, have you ever gotten tired of TF2 as in you just stopped having interest to play in the game? Um, that's a good question, you know. I feel like that is an issue that a lot of people are, uh, um, encountering, especially with the lack of content being added. So to answer it bluntly, no. But because I only play TF2 now at this point in my life when I'm recording a video or recording background footage. I, I try not to play it for leisure because then I know for a fact that I'll get bored of it. You know what I mean? So I try to play it only for streams or videos, etc. So I don't get bored of it because I know for a fact that if I played TF2 for fun and played it like hours a day and then made videos on top of it, I'd get bored of it. And, like, I wouldn't want to play it. And I don't want to get to that stage. So I don't play it as much as you guys, probably. Um, and that's how I've combated uh, getting bored. So the next question from Dido. Dido. Sorry if I said that wrong. Uh, it says, what is your favourite anime? That's a good question, actually, you know. Um, I, I've watched a lot of anime. At the moment of ongoing anime, I'd say Tower of God looks really promising. I'm really enjoying that. And Black Clover. Both of those are goated. <laughs> I think Hunter Hunter, or Hunter x Hunter, however you want to say it, very, very, like, close to the top for me. I It was the first anime I properly watched where it was, like, a long, ongoing one, and I just thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Obviously, Demon Slayer has to be in the list. Like, Demon Slayer was probably, like, one of the most visually pleasing animes I've ever seen. Every scene was just so, so well made. Like, I love Demon Slayer. And also, Yu Yu Hakusho, an older one, I just finished watching it like a couple weeks ago. That was really, really good. I don't know, there's loads, there's loads. I can't, th those are just some of the ones that came off the top of my head. And, uh, it says, why did you dye your hair pink? Um, to be quite frank, I don't know, I was bored. Uh, I had it bleached for charity when we did the Blapper Chico stream. And then I went silver 
Then I went blue and it like faded back to just being normal bleached again. And then I just thought like, well, you know what, I'll just dye my hair again. So I went and bought some pink hair dye. And I thought it looked pretty cool. So uh, yeah, that is the answer. It's kind of faded at the moment. Like obviously the light in here isn't ideal. Let me like, but as you can see, it's like quite fa It's more peachy now than pink, which is weird. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's your question. That's your question answered though, is that I was bored and I thought it would look cool. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll probably change it up soon. I want to go blue next. And the final question from Amjad says, what is your computer specs? Uh, I've got a 1050 Ti graphics card. I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM and a Ryzen 2600 processor. Um, it's a really like mid-range PC. I've not got anything crazy. Like I've not got an insane computer, but it gets a job done for like video editing and gaming and stuff. So that is just about it for this video. If you did enjoy, then please do remember to leave a like and let me know your thoughts down below. And if you want to see more videos like this and general gaming content, then do be sure to subscribe. Thank you guys very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and peace. Mania.